talking about digital divide. But what exactly is the digital divide? Well, let's take a look back in history. In the beginning of time, before the age of the people and the dinosaurs, the continent was just one big landform called Pangea. Remember that one time when Moses and the Israelites had to escape from the Egyptians? They were practically trapped, what with the Red Sea blocking their path. And when the church had just been established, people started to divide into the groups according to their beliefs. We call this the Great Schism. All these events occurred at the beginning of a new era, and they all ended the same, with the split. Today's topic is no different from these events. Like all the others, the digital divide is occurring now at the dawn of a new age, specifically the digital age. And in the same way, a split is happening. I guess we should start by defining the digital divide. Digital divide is a term that refers to the gap between demographics and regions that have access to modern information and communication technology and those that don't or have restricted access. To put it simply, the digital divide is like a line that separates those who can access modern technology like the internet and computers and those that can't access them. But why is it important to know about the digital divide? Why do you have to get rid of that line that separates those who can and cannot access technology? First of all, closing the digital divide could allow for economic equality. The technology we have today can already be considered as a basic component of our lives. Different services and resources are already offered online. Healthcare, education, communication, and the like. Second, the technology we have today can provide us with social mobility. When you are able to access these, you are also able to access different opportunities. And everyone should be able to access these as well. Third, the internet could lead to a healthier democracy. This is because it promotes increased participation among the public, as we also witnessed during this year's election. It wouldn't be fair if not every Filipino was able to obtain the necessary information regarding the candidates, or was able to give their opinions and hear about the opinions of others. Lastly, it can promote economic growth, which we can achieve by maximizing today's technology and using them to our advantage. How close are we to closing this digital divide? How close is the Philippines to closing this divide? At the end of 2015, 2.2 billion people were able to use the internet. However, these also indicate that there are 4 billion people without access to the internet. Out of the 1 billion people living in the least developing countries, 851 million do not use the internet. Here in the Philippines, we have a large market for social media sites and e-commerce. But we still lag behind in the area of connectivity and internet penetration. Only 38% of the population has internet access. And our internet speed ranks 155th globally with their average peak connection speed at 21.9 Mbps. And did you know that the United Nations has declared internet access as a basic human right? All the more reason to be fighting to close the divide. That's it for this video. We hope you learned a lot and that you learned to be thankful for all the opportunities